Medlove is another beautiful segment of Colours of India. This is founded by Surabi Kanal, who is also the hostess. On this Good Sunday morning, Mr. Surabi will talk to us about the LGBT community and the transgender awareness. Let's take a look. Good afternoon. This is Medlove with their monthly talks here on Global Television Network. Welcome to all of you in the United States and around the world. I'm your hostess, Sarabi Kanal. As you can see today, I'm here on the show alone to deliver such a message that does not get highlighted as much as it should. To discuss how the word privilege can serve as a fulcrum for social justice in nearly all areas of society. First and foremost, I would like to introduce a change to the viewers of Medlove, and it is regarding the use of the word survivor. We are taking this new word and replacing victim with survivor. Since love is a theme of med love, it is with utmost respect to our survivors that we use words of positivity and empowerment to speak of them in conversation, as it should for any individual of any society. So I hope that with this new change, we can bring on a new positivity and new empowerment to those survivors as we continue to do the most that we can for these survivors of human sex trafficking. This takes a segue into Medlove's ambition on Global Television Network. I would like to reinforce why we are even here today, and it is to raise awareness and fundraise for, Med for the Medlove Foundation and to do as much as it possibly can for the survivors of human sex trafficking. However, when a discussion of survivors is brought upon in conversation, it is a common mistake for an individual to assign dominant demographics to the community of survivors. It is too often that assumptions are made about the survivors, such as them being females or heterosexual. Today, on this episode of Medlove, we will bring forth awareness to LGBTQ individuals and how they are oppressed within the horrors of sex trafficking. As sex trafficking is most rarely reported, it is most prevalent in cases of LGBTQ survivors to be reported and highlighted. It is important to note numbers. According to the Organization of National Human Trafficking Search, 17% of LGBTQ youth are rejected from homes and left abandoned without family or any grounds of support. This makes them homeless, schoolless, and gives them no choice but to roam the streets. Due to such vulnerability, one in three LGBTQ individuals get picked up by criminals, traffickers, and are taken into trafficking rings as the individuals have no other route of livelihood otherwise. 58.7% of LGBTQ homeless youth are sexually victimized in comparison to the 33.4% of heterosexual homeless youth. Though this occurs worldwide, there are many nations that criminalize LGBTQ individuals where their violations through coerced sex work and criminalization of sex crimes have not even emerged as a topic of discussion. That is why it is important for all members of society to be reminded that human rights are rights entitled to all human beings on this planet, regardless of gender, socioeconomic status, and sexual orientation. No survivor can be left behind, regardless of the individual's demographics. LGBTQ communities need advocacy in everyday society, as well in the realms of survivors of sex trafficking. So let us all become advocates, helping hands, and allies, as we are, anyone who is part of the dominant community can become an ally of the subordinate community and help our fellow LGBTQ members of society and raise awareness for all of the survivors that encounter these unimaginable horrors of sexual violence, even the individuals of LGBTQ community who are seldom highlighted. Stay tuned for next month's episode as we discuss how males are the dominant gender as traffickers, but the subordinate group as survivors. No survivor left behind is inclusive of the young boys and men that are impacted as well. Meet us again next month to find out and make sure to donate to the foundation to support our survivors, www.medloveinc.org. Any amount counts. Don't forget to spread love, tell a joke, keep your head up high, this is your hostess, Robbie Canal, signing off.